So here we have a lesson that we've added notes to. So we have multiple pages here and let's write down the homework so that students know what they need to work on. Now, normally we would just have kids maybe write this down on their planner or write it down somewhere so they remember what they're supposed to do. There's actually an easier way and that's using export or QR share. And the way that we do that is we open file management. So remember it's the folder and we're gonna choose the export button, which looks like a rectangle with an arrow kind of shooting out of it. So go ahead and click on that. Here you'll see we can export to our local storage or as before, we can also export to our cloud storage. So whatever is connected to your MyViewBoard account. So on this example, we're just gonna to export to Google Drive, choose your folder and down at the bottom, you can give it a name, just like if you were saving your lesson. And you'll also notice that you can change the file type. Obviously PDF is recommended as it's a very nice universal format. Then you can give this file a name. Hit the check mark and then that will upload it to your cloud storage. So it takes a whole presentation, processes it, converts it to PDF and puts it in your cloud storage. So then you could go there and share it however you would like to. There's another way that you can do this that's a little quicker. So let's go back to file management. And this time we're going to choose the QR code button. This is called QR share. It'll ask you if you want to share your board. Go ahead and say yes. And then what this is going to do is it's going to automatically convert your presentation to a PDF, put it in your default cloud storage, create a share link, and then display this QR code here, as well as a short link for your students. So the QR code obviously can be scanned. So if students have a phone, they can scan it. Or if they don't, you can use the short link at the bottom. Note that it is case sensitive. So it's really easy to take that short link, put it in your LMS, and then students will have access to this presentation as a PDF.